This is the state flag of Mississippi, but only for a few more months. On Sunday, the Mississippi House of Representatives, followed by the Senate, voted to remove the Confederate symbol from the state flag, more than a century after white supremacist legislators adopted the design. The vote was the work of a coalition of both Democrats and Republicans after increasing pressure from political, business, religious and sports leaders in recent weeks. Lawmakers say their state needs a flag that unites rather than divides. Do you want to be on the right side of history or do you not? And I'm proud of the vote that I personally cast here today and I'm certainly proud of the other 80 individuals who came alongside to cast that same vote. Almost four in ten residents of Mississippi are African American, but opposition to changing the flag has been fierce in the past. In a 2001 statewide election, voters chose to keep the flag. Since then, a number of cities and universities have taken it down, but the political efforts to change it altogether have failed until now. The next step will be for a commission to design a new flag without the Confederate symbol, but with the words, in God we trust. Voters will be asked to approve the new design in the November 3rd election. The decision is the latest in a series of changes to sweep much of the United States as the country begins to acknowledge its racist past. Earlier this month, workers removed a statue of Jefferson Davis from the state capital of Kentucky after a bipartisan vote. Davis was the president of the Confederate States during the Civil War.